Yo, what's going on Leafer Nation? It's Leafer back again and welcome back to another Monopoly Hut video and guys today I have some breaking news for you. We have added two new pieces to the Monopoly board So let me show you what those pieces are right now So looking at the board you can see a question mark on the right side of the board and at the top of the board You can see a community chest. So last video I asked for some opinions in the community chest from you guys Which I did get if you guys want to give me some more punishments uh, some more rewards or some more challenges leave them in the comment below and i can add them to the community chest right now so for example if we were to roll the dice and land a community chest we have an envelope filled with suggestions from you guys and some that some that i made up so it's community chest so let's say we were to roll on it we would go into the envelope pick out a piece of paper that i wrote on and this one says challenge canadian team only so i got this one from twitter i would only be able to use a canadian team for uh, a game uh, which is very cool now we also have chance so community chess has all the punishments rewards and challenges community chess is more reward type uh thing so if we were to land on it we would open up this envelope that says chance on it uh, we have a bunch of pieces of paper in here that i made up as well we would get it another piece of paper and this one says go back five spaces so this would bring me back five spaces and whatever the five spaces is we would have to do so very cool uh thing to add to the series i would i would think but yeah those are the two new spots that we did out again if you guys want to add to the community chest just leave a comment down below or reply to me on twitter without further ado it is time to roll the dice last episode we ended on the open five pack so we're looking for something good here roll again and we get a seven all right guys so a seven is open up one premium pack which we are going to do obviously one premium pack it's gonna be hard to pull something from it look at all these special packs that are out so it kind of sucks that we can't open any of these but hey one premium pack we're hoping for something good hopefully a big pull something to upgrade the team uh it would have been nice to land on any player because we have so many coins too we're at 32k right now um but it kind of sucks so hopefully this pack helps us but I, I doubt it will these premium packs have been super rough for us this series um so i doubt we pull anything to upgrade the team uh, fasca might be our best pull and it is so that's a bit rough we're not going to be able to upgrade the team but uh it is what it is now that we did roll the dice and opened up our pack time to remind you guys what is going on for this episode we are now starting fresh in division seven as last episode we did win division eight we still have the perfect record rolling haven't lost a game yet in any of our episodes i believe we're 14 and 0 something like that so if we can keep that going for as long as we can that'd be super good but without uh without hesitating it is time to head into our first game of division seven all right guys first game of the episode we're playing gf rapid so we are looking to continue the perfect record here and get our first win in division seven so let's go and get this w so he's got st louis crosby he's got a good team here boys we're gonna face some better teams now that we're in better divisions so it's going to be an interesting one boys oh not a good pass not a good pass not a great pass what a save by bobrovsky and it ends up hitting off a of riley and going in not the start we wanted feels bad man dude this is not good what a save by bob bob is keeping us in this right now let's go kessel let's go anthony see you Let's go, Phil. Take it, Phil. Oh, what a save, man. Kessel, what a save. Dude, we're getting robbed out here. It's a coil. Not exactly where I wanted that pass to go, but hey, it still worked out. Phil, Kessel, Phil Kessel. Let's go. We tie it up against this skill zoning. Mm, I'm not going to say what I'm going to say, but this guy's been skill zoning hard. We paw one in. We tie it back up. Let's go. Two seconds. Take that, Anthony, to you. Oh, my goodness. We're putting on the pressure here, boys. We should be up. I'm not going to lie. Looking at the stats, I mean, it's pretty even. I have about a minute and a half more time on attack than him. I feel like I'm playing better. This guy's just skill zoning. So if we play our game, I know how to play against skill zoners. We should be fine. That's a trip. You cannot do that. Come on ahead. Up the point. Let's go. Oh, my God, dude. Come on, point. Come on, Kempe. Here we go. Let's get something going. Get that across. Braden Point. Let's go. I was just complaining about him, about him getting bumped off the puck, but he puts one in on the power play. We're up 2-1. Like I said, we know how to play against this kid now. This should be a cruise. At the end of two, it is two on us, and we absolutely took over that period. We have two more shots in him. Looking at time on attack. Almost nine minutes to his almost four minutes. Man, we are killing him. Like I said, we just can't buy a goal right now, but 
If we keep playing the way we do, I think the puck's going to end up in the back of the net for us. Monahan a point. Braden point with his second of the game with an absolute snipe. 3-1 on the power play. Let's go, boys. Take that. There we go. Andrea Santana, see you. You're giving me the space to shoot it. I'm going to shoot it. Please quit. Make it easier on me. And first game of Div 7, we get a rage quit. Let's fucking go. That's why you don't skill zone, kids. Play the game properly. Play it properly. And that's how you get better. There we go. First win. Uh, the confirmation of the two points here. Making us 1-0 in Div 7. Couldn't ask for a better game. We completed one objective, so that will be some coins in the bank. And looking at the stats... I just absolutely dominated him. Completed two objectives, so that's 300 coins for winning a game for one of our dailies. And we get a milestone for taking shots on goal. 1,500 coins for taking 250 shots on goal. We're just under 35,000 coins, which is not too bad. Uh, we are hoping we don't hit bankrupt because 35k can get us a good player. But nevertheless, it is time to head back to the board and roll the dice one more time. All right, guys, so after that win, it is time to head back to the board and roll the dice and hope for a good spot. So here we go. We're looking for a big roll to get us something big and we get a seven again. All right, guys, so a seven is open up two premium packs. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, guys, so here we go. That last premium pack we opened was absolute garbage. We have two this time, so maybe... Maybe two will we'll do it. Maybe we get a good pull in at least one of them here. So here we go. Something to upgrade the team. Even though I'm liking the team a lot. We, we are looking for a good upgrade. Because you saw that guy's last team. David Perron. Okay. Uh, he might be able to make the team. I'm not too sure. Uh, but you saw that guy's last team. He had a Crosby on his team. Teams are going to get better now. We're getting the higher divisions. There's going to be better players as well. So we got to be ready for that. Ooh. Jeff Skinner. I saw the gold tint. 81 overall, so we got an 80 and an 81 and 750 coins, so not bad. Jeff Skinner will definitely make the team, I think. He looks like a speedy player. He has a decent shot, too, so not bad. We'll take a Jeff Skinner, and that will be it for the pack. But hey, a Skinner and a Perron, not too bad. Not sure if Perron will make the team, but I think Skinner will. And last, premium pack here, and then we have to go fix up the team and head into our second game of the episode. So here we go. Something big, we top an 81 overall. You know, it might be a little greedy of me, but I think we can top it here. So here we go. We pulled a Chris Wagner, a couple. Mm, Steve Oleski, okay. Contracts. I don't think, I don't think we're going to get anything here. Feels bad. So let's see if Jeff Skinner and David Prom will fit the team. So here's a change we're making. We are putting in Jeff Skinner for Alexander Kerfoot. That one upgrade we can make. We could put David Perron in, but I've really been liking Andreas Anthony to see you, so we're going to keep him. Uh, speaking of Anthony Sio, he was on the third line, but he has now dropped down to our fourth line as Skinner replaces him on the third. You guys are probably wondering, why isn't Kempe on the third? Like I said, I've been liking Kempe. He's been very good for us. 18 points in 13 games played. He's been doing good on the second line. We're going to keep him there because, you know what, let's not disrupt, uh, you know, the... Uh, producing he's been doing for our team so besides that that's the only upgrade we're making this this episode uh so it's time to head into our second game and hopefully it goes as good as our first one second game of the episode here boys and like i said looking to go 2-0 this episode also looking to continue our perfect record which i believe is now 15-0 um so hopefully we can keep that going and hopefully we can end off this episode with four points in div 7 let's get it marner uh who's that on the draw point so he's a decent team Let's see what happens here. Let's go, Klingberg. Get that across. Morgan Riley off the post. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. Get that across. Kemp. Kane. That was Kane. I thought that was Kemp, babe. What a save, though. Take that. Oh, my God. That's two posts, man. We cannot buy a goal this game. Yeah. Oh, my. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. What just happened? I don't know if I got coned or if my player kicked it to him. I got coned. I got coned to be fair. I mean, that was that was some good coneage. That was a good goal by him. I have to give it to him. How we don't have a goal yet? I don't know. But hey, you know what? Props to this guy. <laughs> yeah, I know. Muzzin kicked it to him. So it wasn't even that good of a goal. Let's defend myself here. It was a good move, but Muzzin kicked it to him. Someone's got to get open here for a pass point. Oh, dude. We literally... We can't score on, on his bob. Looking at the stats, man. Look at this. Look at the time on attack. 439 to his 49 seconds. And we're down one because of that one goal. There you go, Monahan. Get that across. Kessel, there we go. Let's go. Biggest goal of my life. Yeah, okay, I don't know about that. 1-1. One, one, Phil Kessel. It's been on a tear this episode. Let's go. 
This gets through. Anthony C. You. Oh, his Bob is robbing us this game, man. That was a force. I shouldn't have forced the Kempe. Adrian Kempe. His card never seems to fail. 2 1 on a 5 on 3. What a shot. Let's go. At the end of 2, it is 2 1 us. Looking at the stats, man. 13 to 7 shots I'm leading. Look at the time on attack, man. 9 minutes to his 2.15. Like, this game doesn't deserve to be this close. His Bobrovsky has been keeping him in it. Take off. Here we go. Get that across. Skinner in his debut. Jeff Skinner puts us up by two. Gets us the insurance marker. Let's go, Jeff. That's what we needed. Here we go, Suter. There we go. Ryan Suter. Oh, what a poke. And there it is, boys. We keep the perfect record alive. 2-0 in Div 7. I think 16-0 all time. What a game. The one goal that he did score, it got coned. If you, if you do want to say so, even though my player kicked it to him. But hey, we will take the win. So there we go. Confirmation of the two points. Once again, four points going 2-0 this episode. We completed another objective, which will get some more coins into the bank. And uh, looking at the stats, I mean, he did come back in that third period. He did play better than me in that third period, to be fair. But we came out on top. So we completed another daily, which is 200 coins into the bank account. We are just under 37,000 coins, so... 36k can get us a big player. Hopefully, hopefully we can land on by any player next episode and not lose these coins from a bankrupt roll. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this episode of Monopoly HUD. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to drop a like on the video. And if you guys are new around here, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you want to see some more Monopoly HUD or some more HUD content in general, hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure to hit that little bell button beside the subscribe button to get notified whenever I upload a video to YouTube. Anyways, guys, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace!